Colin Farrell monologuing across my surround sound system? I'm interested. So Sugar is a new show that just premiered on Apple TV+. Plus. Since there's only been two episodes, this is not a full review of the show, but this is my first initial impressions. Let's dig into this. So as I already mentioned, this show has Colin Farrell in it, but it also has Amy Ryan and Kirby. You know, that's really cool. I like when people have one name. It's just super awesome. So what is this show about exactly? Well... You came to the right place. This show is a modern detective noir that is about a guy who is hired by a major Hollywood producer to track down his missing granddaughter. And this major Hollywood producer is played by James Cromwell. I like seeing him. He was really cool in Succession. And he seems pretty cool so far in this. And also, he was really cool in Babe. Everyone from my generation, the 90s, remembers him in Babe. Have you seen that yet? Have you shown it to your kids? You should. You definitely should. So one of the things I thought was really cool right off the bat was seeing that Colin Farrell's character in this show is a cinema lover. How awesome is that? Because that is me as well. I am a cinema lover. And it is nice to see us nerds getting the attention that we deserve. We matter too. And we're out there. And Colin Farrell's character, he's one of us. At least on this show. Maybe he is in real life. Who knows? But he likes cinema. He likes it. And they've used that effect pretty cool so far. Every once in a while, you'll get a little clip of like an older movie. I think these are little clips that connect to the scene that is happening. So basically, Colin Farrell's character is relating certain things that are happening in his life to these older movies. Again, super cool because I definitely do that. My life is kind of like a recreation of movies, you know, and, and not all of them are good movies. <laughs> Colin Farrell is known for playing tough guys a lot of times. He has his emotional moments, sure, but he plays a lot of tough guys. And in this show, he is still playing a tough guy, but what's interesting is he's playing a tough guy who is very capable of handling things. He can throw your ass down to the ground. He can beat you up. He can defend himself, but he doesn't enjoy it. And that is pretty cool. He is almost a pacifist, I would say. You know, when he punches somebody, when he hurts somebody, he feels bad about it. That's a really unique quality, especially for somebody who seems like he has a history of doing this. I think as we watch more of the show, we're going to find out more about his character and we're going to find out that this guy has a past and that past involved beating people up with no discrimination. Amy Ryan does a pretty good job in the show. She plays another big wig kind of a character, but she's also a flawed woman. She likes to drink too much. She's a lonely character. She's looking for someone to give her some entertainment. And Colin Farrell steps in and fills that role quite nicely. And I think she's a great actress. I first saw her in that show, The Office. She was really good in that show. And she seems like she's gonna be very interesting in this show. Kirby. Well, she comes off as a handler, I guess. She seems like she's in charge of the cases that Colin Farrell takes. I mean, I guess even private detectives have bosses that are looking over their shoulder and telling them which cases they can and cannot take. Does that make her basically a pimp? She kind of comes off as a pimp. But yeah, she seems interesting so far. And like I said, the one name thing is just so cool. So I was a fan of Sin City, and one of the things that I liked about it was the noir moodiness to it. It just felt grimy. Everything felt dingy. You felt like you were in this world that was like a comic book come to life, I guess. And so noir has always been a very interesting topic and a very interesting style of filming. And so this show doesn't exactly have that. It is more modern. It's not gray all the time. This show isn't in black and white. It's not dingy. It's not always raining, but it has a noir feel. Those voiceovers really solidify that feeling. And I'm enjoying that a lot. I think that's going to end up being a very interesting show. And so far it is very much holding my interest. I'm a big fan of how big mainstream actors are coming to streaming services and they're putting the time into doing TV shows. It used to be if you were on a TV show, you were looked down on, you were considered to be at the lower end of your career. Now, actors are realizing that TV and the multi-episode format offers so much potential for storytelling. And it is the way to go if you want a true character study. And if you want a full, complete story where you aren't limited by the constraints of time. Hell, we even had Harrison Ford do a TV show last year, actually also on Apple TV+. And it was phenomenal. It was awesome seeing him. And I just think it's really cool that we're getting more and more mainstream actors 
coming to streaming and just saying, all right, let's do this. So as I mentioned, there's only been two episodes, so this is an early impression. If I feel compelled to make a full season review, maybe I will at the end of it. But so far, I think the show seems pretty solid. I'm not 100% sold on it yet, but I'm going to give it a chance because I like this premise and I really enjoy Colin Farrell. So that's my opinion of the show. Have you checked it out? Do you plan on checking it out? If you've checked it out, what did you think of it? Put your thoughts in the comments. And please, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up so I can know that you liked it. It's a really good way to find out if I suck or not. And if you want to see more things from me, please subscribe to my channel. And that's everything I have to say. Until the next time. Later. Later.